In this video, I will clear up an issue that is confusing for some. Sometimes in a number, some zeros can be omitted without changing the value. Which zeros can be omitted? To frame this discussion, I start by asking the following questions. Is 50.07000 the same as 50.07? Is it the same as 50.0700? Is it the same as 50.0700? Is it the same as 5.7? Is it the same as 50.7? Is it the same as 00050.07? Is it the same as 50.07001? Secondly, is 1050 the same as 105? And thirdly, is 0 0.00352 the same as 0 0.00352? So question 1. Which of these other numbers, although different, has the same value as 50.07000? Let us look at the place value of the non-zeros in 50.07000. We see that the 5 is in the tens column, so it is 5 tens, and the 7 is in the hundredths column, so it is 7 hundredths. Surely, for the number to have the same value, each digit should maintain the same place value. What if we add a random number of zeros to the front of the number? The place value of the 5 and the 7 doesn't change. So the value of the number is unchanged. What if you add a random number of zeros to the back of the number? The place values and thus the value of the number still remains unchanged. This shows that 50.07000 and 0050.07 have the same value as 50.07000. On the other hand, what happens if we remove the zero at the end? What happens if we remove all three zeros? Just as before, the place values of the 5 and 7 remain the same, and thus the value of the number remains the same. So 50.0700 and 50.07 are the same as 50.07000. So what about the others? 5.7 in 5.7, we remove all zeros, but recognize that the 5 is now in the ones column and the 7 is now in the tenths column. So the number is not the same. It does not have the same value. What about 50.7? Here we leave one zero. The 5 remains in the tenths column, but the 7 is no longer in the hundredths column. So the value of the number has changed. And 50.07001, of course, adding or changing any non-zero digit changes the value of the number. So what have we learned so far? We have learned that a key to keeping the value of a number is to ensure that all the place value of the non-zero digits remain the same. And we have learned that the zeros between non-zero digits must remain. They act as placeholders. Second question, is 1050 the same as 105? 1050 has these place values. The 1 is in the thousands column, so it is 1000. And the 5 is in the tens column, so it is 5 tens. 105 is different. Here we have 100 and 5 ones. But sir, we just learned you could omit zeros at the end. The important issue here is the decimal point. We cannot omit this zero because it holds the place of the decimal point. This zero between the 5 and the decimal point is also a placeholder. And of course, we can add zeros before and after without changing the value. Make sure if you're adding zeros after to write in the decimal point. Bring it all together. The key is to ensure that all the place values of the non-zero digits remain the same. 
the zeros between the non-zero digits must remain, the zeros between the non-zero digits and the decimal point must also remain. One final note. We should now be clear that 0 0.00352 is the same as 0 0.00352. This zero before the decimal point is not necessary. I always write it though because it is good style. I believe writing 0 0.00352 make the location of the decimal point clearer. That is it for this video. I am Mr. Dubé. If you found this video helpful, if you appreciate what I am trying to do on this channel, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. See you in the next video.